हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर से सीरीज होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग जस्ट वेल एंड टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक आउट ऑफ शिप स्टेबिलिटी दिस बींग द इफेक्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ डेंसिटी ऑन शिप स्ट्रेप वेल वेन वी टॉक अबाउट शिप्स स्पेशली सी गोइंग दे आर डिजाइंड टू ट्रेवल वर्ल्ड वाइड वेन दे आर डूइंग सो it may so occur sometimes that they also pass from water of one density to another one of the noticeable case being of gulf of alaska where two oceans seem to meet together but do not actually intermix well this happens because there actually exist a difference in the water density the temperature and salinity of the glacier melt water and offshore water in this session we will try to understand how exactly such change of density affects the ship's longitudinal stability the density of an object is well defined as mass per unit volume and alternatively mass can be defined as density multiplied by volume and applying this to ships mass of displaced water is equals to the density of water multiplied by the volume of water displaced as per archimedes principle mass of displaced water is equals to the mass of ship and mass of ship is well called as displacement if on any particular voyage the displacement remains constant and the density changes the volume of displacement must also change accordingly and hence it will cause a respective change in the mean draft of a ship if your density decreases the volume of displacement increases and if your density increases the volume of displacement must decrease in general we can just say that volume of displacement is inversely proportional to density hmm it is clear that there occurs a change in the mean draft because of a change in density but what's about trim whenever a ship moves from water of one density to another without there being a change in its displacement there may occur a change in trim along with a change in the mean draft however this change in trim is quite small all the time in this session we will understand how exactly that takes place let's consider a ship of displacement delta having length l lying at waterline wl in sea water of density rho sw the center of gravity and center of buoyancy being in the same vertical line and hence the ship is just in equilibrium if your ship now moves into river water of density rho r ton per meter cube there occurs a bodily increase in the draft and the vessel will start floating on water line w1 l1 this is the original water line wl and there has occurred an increase in the volume of displacement by an added layer of volume let's say small v since the change in mean draft because of change of density is quite small we can assume that there is least or negligible change in the water plane area hence center of gravity of increased volume can be considered as lying at the same location as centroid of water plane area which is also called as center of flotation the point f because of this increment in the volume of displacement the center of buoyancy moves from b to b1 here we are only interested in only the longitudinal component of shift in center of buoyancy on the other hand center of gravity stays in its original position well the buoyant force will now be acting upwards through new center of buoyancy the point b1 whereas the gravitational weight b is still acting downwards through original center of gravity point g these two equal and opposite forces creating a couple moment effect of which will be to change the ship's trim by the bow 
well we will now be trying to derive an expression for the determination of change in trend density is expressed as mass per unit volume volume can be expressed as mass divided by density applying the same to ships volume of displacement will be equals to delta upon density of water in which your ship is well floating now individually applying the same in two different situations volume of displacement in sea water can be expressed as delta upon rho s metric cube of course and similarly volume of displacement in river water would become delta upon rho r metric cube the difference amongst both will be giving us the change in volume of displacement substituting the same in place delta upon rho r minus delta upon rho s now bringing in delta as common outside and simplifying further longitudinal shift in center of buoyancy can be determined by dividing moment of increased volume about original center of buoyancy of the ship by the total volume of displacement means small v multiplied by fb where fb is the longitudinal separation between point f and point b and divided by volume of displacement nebula r nebula r can be expressed as delta upon rho r well now substituting v in place delta into rho s minus rho r upon rho r into rho s fb being as usual and we have replaced nebula r with delta upon rho r now delta will get cancelled from numerator as well as denominator rho r will also get cancelled now what is the expression we do have here with us rho r sorry rho s minus rho r upon rho s into fb this is for the determination of that b b1 distance how much is the longitudinal distance covered by the center of buoyancy and uh, amount of trimming moment is well given by either force multiplied by the shift in center of buoyancy and what is the force it is delta so delta into bb1 becomes the trimming moment here and how do we determine change in trim just by dividing trimming moment with the mct so delta into bb1 divided by mct is giving you change in trim in centimeters alternatively we can write it as delta upon mct into bb1 substitute bb1 in place and simplify further this gives us change in trim is equals to delta into fb divided by mct into rho s minus rho r upon rho s centimeters this expression will always help you out in for the determination of change in trim because of a change in the density well if things get changed let's say instead of moving in a water of lower density the ship now moves in a water of higher density quite obvious there will occur a decrement in the underwater volume and hence in such a case the change of trim will be well given by delta into fb divided by mct into rho s minus rho r upon rho r centimeters now there actually exists a lot of confusion in like in which direction the change of trim will take place well let me make it clear it totally depends on whether your ship is moving in higher density or lower density also it depends on the respective locations of center of flotation and center of buoyancy of the ship let me make it clear uh, through some diagrams originally let's say there is a ship lying on even keel the center of flotation is lying aft of center of buoyancy and the ship is moving somewhere in water of lower density obviously there will occur an increase in the volume of displacement and center of buoyancy will shift towards the center of flotation now see how is the couple movement getting formed 
it is getting formed in order to change the ship's trim by the bow let's look at uh, another case in this case the center of rotation is lying forward of center of buoyancy and let us assume the ship is still moving in water of lower density there uh, occurring an increase in the volume of displacement in this case also the center of buoyancy will be moving towards the center of flotation and see how is the couple moment getting formed in this case it is in the opposite direction the ship is changing its stream by the stern let's look at another case let's say the ship is initially lying on even keel and it is moving in a water of higher density obviously there will occur a decrement in the volume of displacement the respective locations of center of buoyancy and center of flotation are like the center of flotation is aft of center of buoyancy now see how things go obviously the center of buoyancy would be moving away from the center of flotation because there is a decrement in the volume of displacement and see how is the couple moment getting formed it is getting formed in order to change the ship stream by the stern now coming on the very last case the ship being floating on even keel originally the center of flotation lying forward of center of buoyancy and ship is moving in water of higher density obviously there will occur a decrement in the volume of displacement and hence center of buoyancy would be moving away from the center of flotation now see how is the couple movement getting formed it is getting formed so as to change the ship stream by the head so this is how the change of trim will take place in different situations i hope boys the concept is very well clear to everyone if you do have any doubts you may ask me any time